Welcome back to BNC Live. Emmett Till, he was just 14 years old when he was dragged out of bed, tortured and killed for reportedly flirting with the white woman. A lynching that set off the civil rights movement and had prominent leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. calling his murder an example of the evil of racial injustice. Now, after unbelievable heartache, right? Today, the Till family has a bright spot to celebrate. Both Emmett Till and his mother, Mamie, were both uh, posthumously awarded a gold medal of honor by Congress. And joining us now to talk about that is justice advocate and cousin of Emmett, Deborah Watts. Deborah, it is a pleasure. Thank you for joining us uh, on this day. What does this action by Congress mean to your family, especially given the political landscape we're in? Thank you, first of all, for having me. And it is uh, long overdue that uh, this kind of recognition is um, honored uh, and given to Mamie Till Mobley in particularly because she's the one that fought for 47 years. Um, we are excited about this honor. It is long overdue, but we also know that there's more work to do. The House under uh, Congressman Bobby Rush's leadership has to pass it as well uh, in order for it to be signed into law. And so it's um, an honor, it's a privilege, it's something that we've thought about for years. And we worked with others who had uh, relationships with Senator Burr, Senator Booker to make this happen. So we think this is this is a, a, an honor that is, is should be bestowed upon the two. We wish we could uh, place that uh, award in Mamie's hands. Uh, we wish we could have Emmett back, but that's not possible. And so we continue to fight for justice and accountability on their behalf. Yeah. But thank you. Grace. What would it mean for Mamie to hold that award? How do you think she would have responded? Well, I think she would have been uh, honored. I think she would have a strong message around continuing to fight. I think she would have a message for Mississippi to say, your work is not done. You still need to bring charges against the last living accomplice in Emmett Till's kidnapping and murder. And so I think she would be happy, but also giving us uh, a call to action to move forward and to make sure that, particularly on this day of, of Dr. King's uh, 93rd birthday, that we move forward and we make sure that if we see something, we do something. And she would call all of us to action to move forward in our lives and to fight for others and particularly for her son. So I, I, I think she would I think she would be excited, but yet give us that that sense of 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 accountability that we need to continue to pursue. Yeah. Um I'm not sure if you heard this, but many have compared the killing of Ahmaud Aubrey to the slaying of your cousin Emmett Till. Aubrey's killers have been brought to justice, but Till's accuser still lives free, and the Department of Justice closed the investigation into his death. Why hasn't she and the countless others involved um, not been held accountable for their actions? That's an excellent question, and it's one that we continue to ask. It's one that we could even demand that the state of Mississippi, uh, the DA there, along with the AG, the um, Attorney General Lynn Fitch, and uh, DA Dwayne Richardson, that they push forward, that they have the courage to make this right. Uh, they have the power to charge Carolyn Bryant Donham in the, kin in the kidnapping and, and murder uh, of Emmett Lewis Till as an accomplice. She was involved. And so the evidence shows that. And just because the case was, or the investigation, I should say, was closed by the Department of Justice, we continue to move forward. 